Hi everyone, welcome to Sipping with Sue. Here we are, two o'clock on a Friday afternoon and it's a windy one out there. Wow, uh, some windstorm going on out there, but that's good. With a little combo of the snow and the rain, it's, it's uh, looking good. Anyway, here we are, Sipping with Sue. I wanted to talk about um, an extension to International Women's Day where we're here and I wanna hear from you today about how you feel supported as a woman, how um, you've had those experiences, what they are, how you're feeling about that, and I want to talk about some experiences where maybe we haven't been supported as women. Because to me, International Women's Day, of course, is about women's rights, but we'd be nowhere without all of us supporting each other. So today, um, I just want to have a disclaimer. I won't have any children uh, running through the house, which is good news, like in some of my other Sipping with Sue's. I uh, am doing this from my house, so the doorbell could ring, the dog could bark, and you'll, you might see some dog or cat hair on me. I did do the vacuuming. I did clean up my clothes with the linting brush but hey you never know I'm my own production crew <laughs> one day I'll have my own that I'll be able to uh, hire uh, that's a goal but for now it's me I'm stage set up makeup hair and uh, de-linting set up so just uh, forgive me that's my disclaimer so anyway as I was thinking about uh, women supporting women and how important that is I was thinking about something that I was given many many years ago in my days of working in childcare when I left um, a center that I was working at actually Churchill Children's Center uh, the women gave me this beautiful statue so I've spent half the morning trying to find it and it's here and it weighs about 10,000 pounds but I love it um, and I just want to show you <coughs> sorry and I've got this cough if you can see it it's all these women around each other and they've got their arms around each other and you can actually light a candle in the middle and I absolutely love it and I forgot about it and it's actually called Circle of Friends um, so I, I've, I've brought it out as a reminder to me just about how we support each other as women um, and how important that is. So um, I wanted to start out really just uh, hearing from you if we could. I see I've got quite a few uh, followers on right now that are live, so thank you, welcome. And I just wanted to talk about um, what women supporting each other means to you. I know the picture that I posted said that strong women support each other and I truly believe that, that strong women really do support each other. But I believe that women in general should be supporting each other and we shouldn't even really have to be talking about it. But I have noticed and I have had experiences in the past where women haven't supported me. Um, and I just wanted to talk about that. So. Let's start with the positives, of course. What are some examples that you can think of when you've been supported by other women or felt supported? I'd love to hear from you. I did make a list, of course, for myself, um, and I, I will go through that, but I'd love to hear from anybody who's out there. A time when you have felt really supported by women, either they've said something to you or they've done something that has really supported you and sort of built that tribe around you because that's so important um, I think for our success in life is to have those women I can't imagine not having the group of women um, in my tight circle and my broader circle around me uh, supporting us through the years through our journey as a family even um, has been so amazing okay so I'm gonna start with a few and then when you guys want to start chiming in I'd love to hear from you that would be great so what do I have so what it looks like to me is acceptance, right? So women really accepting other women and who they are and their uniqueness, right? Because we're all so unique. We come with so many great qualities and characteristics and really um, supporting that. And I know I can be a little off the cuff and a little odd sometimes. My humor is a little odd. I color my hair differently. I wear, you know, lots of flashy things. Um, but I've always been supported with that and always appreciated um, that support. Um, so I think that that's really, really important is that we're really supporting and accepting women and their individuality and who they are right and letting them shine because that's just so so important another one I have is that um, we're able to lend uh, a lending hand or a listening ear to women to really really support them but really being there to listen to them is really important in the good times 
And then also in the times when women are struggling, because we all have those moments. I've had those moments too in my life and they still continue. Um, even though, you know, I, I always try to have a really good outlook on things. I have days too. So I think it's really important to be able to support women, not only in person, but online, because so many of us are spending so much time online on social media, I've got vlogs, I've got blogs coming. Um, and you know, there's been the odd person here and there, maybe online where I haven't felt supported. Um, and, and you know, that makes me a little sad. So we should be able to support people um, online because we spend so much time online. We probably spend more time online than we do in person with people sometimes. So I think that that's really, really important. Um, and I think that even though we're busy as women, because we're all super busy, um, that support is really important. So the support could be in person, you know, where we're spending time with friends or we're spending time with women in groups, but even online. So if you haven't seen your friends in a long time because you're busy, um, just send them a text, right? Hi, how are you? Thinking of you. Um, that's the perk of having, you know, technology now, where before we had to pick up the phone and we always didn't have time for that. Now we can at least touch base, send them a little heart shape icon, whatever it is an emoji and I think that that still shows support right which is really important um, I also think there's more tangible ways that we show support so in the summer you guys know that I was in the hospital for three months with my daughter and I was amazed at the people that reached out and supported and actually came for hospital visits, people that I didn't really know, women that I didn't really know would come and do that. Um, and that was amazing to me and very touching. And then there would be friends that would come visit, bring me food, um, you know, bring me all kinds of stuff. Just the visit is all that I really craved um, was that woman contact, right? Which was so important. So that's amazing and I also think that um, there's been many moments in my life where women have really supported me in a tangible way. So in the early days when my daughter was born and we needed to be um, at Ronald McDonald House and I was exhausted from having a C-section and just wiped um, after day three of her being born, I had a friend um, who reached out and actually went and arranged the whole Ronald McDonald House for us, just went and randomly did that. So that's what we do as women to support each other, which is like so, so important, right? And then when I was in the hospital this summer, I had a friend who would visit, of course, um, but every day she would touch base with me. If it was even just a text, sometimes a phone call, how are you, how was your day, how are you doing? And wow, did I ever feel supported, right? So again, we don't always have to physically be there, um, but I think it's really important to support women. I'm just looking at some of the things that people have said Said. Uh, Janelle welcome thank you for being here um, we might not know what to say or how to help but just listening helps I agree just being that listening ear we don't always have to be talking for sure and moving on um, Meg women in the workplace not feeling threatened by other women I agree I agree totally with you I was just gonna talk about that um, I've dealt with female bully in the workplace very frustrating very upsetting actually <coughs> sorry I agree with you I too have um, dealt with uh, bullying in my life, even as a child. Um, and as an adult, I have dealt with the bullying. It was one of the things I was going to talk about. And for me, I really um, came down hard on myself because I kept thinking, why did I allow this to happen? Why did I allow myself to be bullied? And at the time, I didn't even think it was bullying because for me, when I meet women, I'm in. I'm automatically there. I'm, I'm, I don't even know you and I'm ready to support you. Just kind of how I operate. <coughs> Sorry, I've got this nasty cough. <coughs> it's just really how I operate. I just, I'm there to support you. I'm there no matter what, because it's the women. We're the, we're the tribe, right? We just, we have to support each other. It should be just, we're part of the union. It's, it's automatic, if any of that makes any sense. And so um, when I had that happen to me as an adult, um, it was very frustrating. And I allowed, I allowed that to happen to me. Um, and yeah, it was very upsetting and very frustrating. Um, so I agree with you. Um, but the good news is I allowed it to happen. That's not the good news, but it was part of the journey and I regained my power back and I, I still kept an open mind, but I, it made me a little more cautious, unfortunately. Um, so I've, I've tried not to be like that anymore. I've tried to still keep an open mind when it comes to women, but it is, it's not, it's not pretty when that happens and it's really unfortunate. And I think some of the reason why that happens is 
women feel threatened sometimes by other women um, and they feel that they need to compete with other women and it's just so far the opposite because if we landed up supporting each other more and being there for each other it would be more of a win-win situation I truly truly believe that for sure um, so I, I agree with you and that leads me into talking about our careers and our aspirations and as women we should be supporting each other right there shouldn't be any room for jealousy and there shouldn't be any room for feeling threatened because we're all trying to do the best we can we're all on the same page trying to um, you know rise up the ladder and that's so important so I can give you a really wonderful example and I'm not sure if she's watching right now but I would like to give some credit to Rosita Hall so in the early days when I started thinking about doing motivational speaking I'm just looking here to see if anybody else is uh, logged on so in the early days when I started doing motivational speaking I decided I was gonna make this more of a business and so what I decided is you know let's start following people who are my mentors and one of them was Rosita Hall uh, she's been doing motivational speaking for years dynamic speaker um, just always really loved her and and where what she did so I reached out to her not knowing her on LinkedIn and I just took a risk and I thought okay I'm gonna reach out to her and see if she would be willing to meet with me and sure enough she met with me so we met one day at Starbucks honestly it must have been three four hours time passed by and I let her know what I wanted to do because I've really always been doing public speaking my whole life even as a child I'd won awards through elementary school and um, and you know had done public speaking in high school but I really wanted to do it more because I felt like it was a bit of my calling based on my life and so Rosita was amazing she was she gave me ideas she gave me tips she's even sent me you know some of her paperwork sometimes to kind of help me out I've offered to pay her she won't take it but you see she was mentored by an amazing woman and it was sort of a pay it forward kind of attitude that she had that she was going to help other women as well along the journey and I remember saying to her after she had met with me even a second time for hours and I said um, are you okay with me asking you these questions because I'm gonna go into motivational speaking too and I know she, I can't remember quite what she said but the gist of it was basically honey there's enough room for both of us there's a boat there's enough room for both of us to be in the public speaking world and, and you know we be there together and I thought wow there's a strong confident woman um, who isn't threatened who's secure with herself and is willing to support another woman and I, I love it and I and I still love it to this day and she still inspires me and she's still my mentor so again Rosita thank you you are actually authentic and you are living your truth um, and you are one of those women that I know really truly supports each other so I just I love that story actually and and that's what sort of led me to where I am um, she's been that role model and that mentor and I've never ever felt like I can't ask her a question um, or I've not been supported by her so I just wanted to say thank you for that um, so I think it's also important for us to be um, as women to compliment each other but to mean it authentically right that's really important because um, we love that as women I, I think we do we, we love that makes us feel good but it let's let's be authentic about it right and notice really wonderful things about each other um, spending true quality time together is so so important um, I know that's harder in this day and age because we're busy and, and that's a hard thing to do but if we can do it there's no better conversations than with the girls I do this annual deck party every year um, and it looks a little different some years we have um, the same women some years we have the same and some different and it just kind of depends on who's in my life at the time and I love that piece and I love that when my husband comes home when we're having this deck party outside it's usually uh, at the end of June and he says I love coming home and hearing all of you laughing um, and that support and and it really is amazing and there's been some amazing things that have come out of the deck party um, we've come up with some brainstorming ideas for um, um, the organization um, that I run and um, and has and have co-founded and we've done some amazing things together out on the deck just you know some ideas have have sparked from those great conversations so that's been amazing <coughs> apologies for the cough Larissa welcome it's great to have you um, being happy for a co-worker when they get a promotion you wanted is hard but nothing feels better than supporting them and truly being happy for them gives you inner peace I do agree I do agree that sometimes that's tough when we don't get that promotion um, because we really wanted it um, and that is tough I have been there but I also am of the mindset that 
at that time that wasn't part of our journey or it wasn't meant to be and we will get what we're supposed to get or where we'll go where we're supposed to go um, and we'll get the promotion but it might not just be at that time right um, but I agree that is really happy and uh, part of being supportive is you're right having that inner peace and accepting that right that's really that's really important what else do I have um, let's see I think so sometimes having real honest conversations with women is really important so we have these friendships and you know they're amazing friendships but sometimes we have to have conversations with their friends about you know maybe more serious things or or topics and and being able to be able to do that um, means that we've created uh, this group of women around us who understand that accept that um, and it's okay it's okay to have those real honest raw conversations with some of the women around us and and I've had that sometimes too where women have close women to me have said well I'm not sure about this idea or that idea or you know and it doesn't mean they're not being supportive it actually means that they are being supportive because they're keeping an open mind and they're giving me some honest feedback but it's not hurtful feedback if that makes any sense um, so I, I love that piece I'd love to hear from any of you times when you've felt supported or maybe times when you've struggled a bit with women um, and maybe why we think that is anybody out there I'd love to hear from you I just wanted to show you how to turn the camera um, I was feeling it was a day today that I needed some more relaxation in my life because maybe it's the wind and all the energy but I just wanted to show you I've got my lava lamp going isn't it so cool and it's got these bubbles and I could probably just go to sleep if I kept that on and I was watching it so we better get back here and get focused <laughs> anyway I was kind of excited about that so I thought I would get that rolling on a Friday okay so what else do I have let's see I have where's my other list let's see too many lists in our lives isn't it true so we talked about supportive times what about other times when we haven't felt supported or actually the, to me this is what not supporting each other really looks like and we we need to stop it so we've touched on this competition right when we feel that um, we need to compete with other women and it's just the wrong approach it really just is the wrong approach we need to be supporting each other and by supporting other women it actually creates a more positive world a more positive atmosphere and it's less pressure on us right why do we do that to ourselves right and if we can work together closer together more things can be achieved right just like the example I've given you of Rosita um, and there's a million other examples of how um, I've been supported right so Tiffany hi welcome I've struggled with my mother-in-law for years long story okay so maybe we can hear about that one day um, and that can be tough too because it's family right when it's family sometimes and they're not being supportive of us um, that can be difficult and we know we're gonna see them at occasions um, so that takes a lot of inner strength in our behalf to you know get through those family functions and those family dinners that can be really tough for sure absolutely um, the bullying which I talked about um, <coughs> which I'm sad to hear that that's even going on out there in the world um, and that it exists but unfortunately it does exist um, but you know how do we get through that I guess is the most important thing so actually during the time that I was feeling uh, being bullied as an adult um, I went to the supportive group around me to talk to them about that and that's how I got through that right and I needed a lot of reassurance at the time um, whatever that was I was just in a low place in my life low self-esteem um, just you know not feeling as confident as I could be um, so those those women around me picked me up and supported me through that and uh, and that was amazing so I'm happy to say that you do get through it right um, women to me shouldn't be talking behind each other's backs um, that's something that I sometimes see happening often I mean it's one thing to have a conversation be supportive in in your small groups maybe about frustrations but we shouldn't be backstabbing each other that's just nasty stuff and we shouldn't be trying to bring in other people either to backstab us or to you know to gain some more people more in the crowd to talk bad about that person like that's just got to stop right that's just high school really at the end of the day but unfortunately I do see it happening um, in the in the adult world with women and uh, and we've got it we've got to really really stop that I'm just gonna grab a drink because I always forget to sip so give me two minutes love to hear what you guys are sipping on okay so this looks really gross I'm just gonna show you I know Ooh, brown swampy guess what it is any thoughts any thoughts on what I'm drinking no it's not wine I wish it was wine but it's not anybody got any thoughts on what I'm drinking but I've got it in a really great cup 
So this cup says, you truly are dazzling, which all of you are. And we have to remember that our inner love to love ourselves, our inner beauty. We are all amazing women out there. So it's a protein shake. I know. <laughs> I thought I'm going to get it out of that really uh, silly uh, protein uh, shake jar and I'm going to put it in something else so that's very exciting prune juice yeah it looks like prune juice mind you I might not be sitting here for very long if it was prune juice sorry just saying <laughs> what else do we have um okay inner strength is required when you need to say goodbye to a long time friendship oh that's tough that is really tough sometimes what brought us together is no longer there and we need to let that relationship go you're right Diane just doing this we evolve as people we actually really do evolve as people. Wait, there's a little more to see here. Oh, no, it didn't work out. Sorry, apologies. I can't see the rest of it, Diane. Sorry, it was, uh, it's not showing up. But I agree with you. Sometimes we have to end friendships. Um, and that's tough. That's not ever easy. It's that poem. I can't recite it exactly word for word where there's a season, there's a reason uh, for friendships. And uh, some stay in our lives for a really long time. And those are amazing. And then some are here for a short period of time. And there's always a reason. Um, for the people that are in our lives. I really do believe that, um, absolutely. So uh, so that is that is a really good point, and sometimes that's hard. Um, but we don't want that toxicity in our life either, right? We, we have no room, we should have no room for that. Um, you know, again, things happen. Um, you know, friends have arguments sometimes, they have disagreements, and of course, I'm not saying, you know, get rid of the friend when that happens. Um, but again, if we're in toxic relationships, that's that's not good for our health as well, right? Uh, what else do I have? <coughs> I love, I love meeting new people. Um, I love that. So I love when we're out somewhere that, um, yes, life goes on. That's a song, right? Yeah. I think I had a phone tune one day, like a message on my machine. Remember the show Life Goes On? La, 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 da, 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 da. La, na, 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 life goes on. Okay, really, I won't sing because I'll probably lose all of you for following me. <laughs> I'll stop singing. I don't want to horrify you. Anyway, thanks for that. That was good. Um, anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, meeting new people. So when I'm in a new crowd, like if I'm at a conference or I'm at a meeting, I love meeting new women. It just excites me. I think, oh, who's that lady over there? I want to meet her. I want to get to know her. What's her story? I love that, right? That just really excites me. I don't know if anybody else feels that way, but I truly, truly, truly truly love that. Um, so that excites me, meeting new women. But what I find sometimes is I'm in this crowd and I'm, you know, venturing out to meet new women. And sometimes there's a bit of a wall up with some of the women. Like I can just tell they're like, okay, who is this lady? And I know I come on strong sometimes. Um, but I really do truly authentically want to get to know you. And I wish that we would bring that wall down so that we could all introduce ourselves to each other and get to know each other. Because um, it's so important and we never know. It could be a new friendship. It could be part of our tribe somebody new in our support group it could be a new contact for our business for work who knows and I find we all have such um, commonalities intertwined in our lives and and we don't want to shut ourselves down so here's the story I'm going to tell you and sorry if there's any men following I can't tell who's following right now I don't want to traumatize you so I won't I'll stick to not a lot of the details but I I'm 49 now definitely going through menopause um, and it's been well, just quite interesting is all I'm going to say. So last month, um, 30 days, 30 days, it lasted the whole cycle. That was a lot of fun. I'm sorry if I'm sharing too much, but I, this actually has a, a story behind it. Um, and I remember just sitting and thinking, oh my gosh, I am so frustrated with this. I mean, I talked to a couple close friends, um, you know, and they were obviously very supportive, but I remember just thinking, wow, is this normal? What is this hell? Honestly, what is this? Like I've been through enough in my life. What is going on? And I was at a conference and I don't know how it came up. I don't know how I started that conversation, um, but the women around me were amazing. They all started talking about their experiences and I thought, oh, I feel so supported right now and so not alone because some of them had those really kind of nasty experiences. I mean, for me, there were times where I thought I couldn't even get to work. Um, in that month and it's still continuing so you know it's been ongoing and it, it has been frustrating at times and I just loved that I was able to bring that up be so open and honest and have these really great chats with women who were going through the same thing so the moral of the story is we need to open up we need to be sharing more we need to be um, helping other women connecting with them because the more we're open and the more we share the more we have in common with with each other and I think that that's what would end a 
lot of the bullying and a lot of the us being nasty to each other, right? So I think that that's really important is that open piece that we're able to be open and raw and sometimes maybe not as open as raw as I am. Um, but I, I appreciated that. I appreciated that nobody looked at me in a weird way and I went away thinking, you know what, I feel supported and I don't feel alone and I can get through this. I really can. So I love that piece. I really do. <clears throat> what else do I have? What else do we have from you guys? Times when you've been supported, not felt supported. Um, why do we, why is it so important to support each other as women? Why are women so important in your life? There's a question for you. Love to hear from you. Why are women so important in your life as I drink my swamp protein water? There you go, yum. Anybody? I'm just gonna pull up the screen here to make sure I haven't uh, missed anybody. Oh, it was Diane that said life goes on. You're right, Diane, absolutely. Yeah, for sure. So I think part of it for me also is my motto in life, and I'm still working on this, is how can I serve you, right? How can I serve you? And that's one thing that I'm trying to always work on. So when I take focus off of me and woe is me, even with the challenges I've been going through in the, you know, the last month with the womanly stuff, take the focus off me and, <coughs> and sorry, <coughs> how can I help you? What can I do to help you? And that means how can I serve you? So as a woman to another woman, what can I do for you? So I look around at my circle and I look around at how I can support other women that might be going through things. And maybe it's, you know, something tangible I can do for them. So if they're struggling and they're not having time to cook dinner, I have in the past made an extra, if I'm making meatloaf, I'll make an extra meatloaf for my friend and drop it off. Um, or if I have a friend who's going through something, you know, even just texting them and, and talking to them and see what they need. Um, so that's, that's really where I try to come from and I need to do more of that because some days I do have the woe is me attitude and that doesn't serve me well or anybody else well. Um, and then when we're doing more for others, I believe that more comes back to us really more absolutely comes back to us um, and the world becomes a better more positive place absolutely hi Tiffany um, I agree getting to know the person as an individual is really really important absolutely and authentically right I think that that's really important too <coughs> as I age I do feel like my circle of friends has gotten smaller and some days that makes me a little sadder i know my mother years ago said to me you know if you're gonna have if you have five friends on one hand by the time you get to a certain age you're lucky and i remember always thinking oh what's she talking about um but i think it happens i don't think it happens for bad reasons i think it happens because as we get older we get busier i don't know these are like the busiest times ever and sometimes we don't have that time to connect with people but i think we can also broaden our our circle of women. I just think we have to allow for that to happen. And again, it's just being open um, to support each other as women um, and just not the women in our group, but even strangers, right? I have a friend that I um, sometimes will go out shopping with and she's actually amazing, like going through the line, um, paying at checkout, talks to the women, um, finds out who they are, what they're up to, and I love it. I just think it make, it is so authentic and it makes them feel so good and amazing, and I, and I love that quality um, in her as a friend. So I think that that's a really important thing to do, right? Just to be reaching out constantly with that kindness, right? And that authentic um, desire to get to know other women, which I think is so important. Um, what else do I have? I know that I'm not perfect at it. I know that even though we're talking about it and I'm giving you some examples of supporting other women, I know that I am constantly reevaluating myself and I need to work on it. I'm a bit of a work in progress. I have all these ideas and strategies. I have one friend that lives down in the States. She's been a dear friend since grade nine and, you know, reaches out to me often, you know, can you talk? Can you, can you do this? And I can't often get on the phone for that hour or 45 minutes to talk to her. Um, but then I think, Sue, you're not being very supportive of her, right? She's been a friend forever and I know she'd be there in a heartbeat for me and she has been. So I know that I'm I'm a bit of a work in progress and I <coughs> sorry <coughs> also need to work on things as well um, so 
I, I'm constantly trying to figure out how to do that. Even my close friends that are around me, you know, even if it's just a text or whatever it is, um, trying to find different ways and strategies to be there for my friends. But I'm not perfect at it. Um, and I need to work on that and get a little bit better at it as well because I um, expect it from my close circle of friends. Um, but in return, I'm sure they expect it from me too. So I need to work on that. Um, and that's really important. Um, I, I think that that is about it that I had to talk about. So I would love to hear from you guys. Anything else? Any other stories of uh, women supporting each other? Larissa, I try to support my women friends by not allowing them to speak negatively about themselves. Oh, that's a huge one, right? That uh, negative self, self, ugh, can't talk. Self talk is so, it's so hard sometimes, right? The voices in our head and the stories that we tell ourselves about ourselves. Um, but I agree with you. I think that that is such an important role that you give as a friend. Hi, Darlene. Um, sipping with Sue is supportive. Well, thank you, Darlene. I try. I try. But I, you guys are supportive. And that's the other thing. The online community has been amazing um, and supportive. And all of you that come out to listen and uh, share um, the Sipping with Sue's, I do really appreciate it, uh, the online support. Um, I love being here. And I love having you guys there. And I couldn't do it without you, right? I, I'd be a really boring Sipping with Sue if I didn't have anybody making comments, right? Um, and really not supportive. So I thank you for all of that, everyone. Thank you so, so much. I'm just making sure I haven't missed any any there. Okay, thank you. I love that. Um, but Larissa, I am going to sort of go back around to what you're saying about uh, women supporting each other and, uh, and, and not allowing them to talk negative about themselves. And I think as women, we do that a lot, right? Oh, you know, we'll compliment each other. And then I've heard women be complimented and they're like, Oh, yeah, thanks. Well, you know, my hair and my this and yeah, well, I don't really like my nose and I'll, and you're right. I think, okay, we have to, it has to start with us. And when someone compliments us, we need to say thank you and accept it. And I know sometimes that's really hard, but we are all, you are all beautiful. Um, we're all beautiful human beings, um, you know, on this earth, living this life experience and doing it the best we can. I truly believe that. Um, so I think that that's really important. So I, I do, I do like that one. I think that that's uh, really, really important. So I have a poem that I found. Actually, it's on a card. I know you guys can't see it. And I picked it up at, I think, chapters. <coughs> oh my goodness. Sorry. And it's got this great um, sort of quote on it. And I wanted to share it with you before we end our session here today. Okay. So here it is. I'm going to read it to you and I want you just to think about it. Um, she is amazing. She is brave. She is beautiful. She is adored. She is generous. She is my hero. She is great. She is a great friend. She is a cool cat. She is a class all on her own. She is one in a million. She is a dream come true. She really is something. She is loved. She is a dreamer. She is on top of the world. She is what she is. And she is you. You are beautiful. You are loved. You are wonderful. You are dynamic. You are an individual. Um, you are a great friend. You are a great person. And you are all, all amazing. And you are all dazzling and wonderful women. So I thank you for following. I thank you for supporting. I thank you for being here. And I look forward to another Sipping with Sue. And just one more thing. P.S. You are beautiful and you are loved. <laughs>